Hi guys, um, welcome back, thank you for coming back if you have come back and welcome if you found me. Um, this video is going to be my July favourites. Now I have had what I'm going to very dramatically describe as an ordeal today trying to get these videos filmed. Um, I have about four I want to do, I started at about two o'clock and it is now, iPhone says, uh, ten past six just about. So, with one thing or another, everything seems to have gone wrong, and I'm never really sure whether this camera is recording or not, because um, it's a new camera and I'm kind of getting used to it, and I've had memory card problems and battery problems and god knows what today. So, I think I'm all good. So, what I'm going to do for this video, this is my July beauty favourites, and they are in this basket. There's not that many of them, probably like 10 products, maybe something like that. So I'm just going to kind of whip through them fairly quickly and uh, tell you a little bit about each one and why it's my favourite. So, uh, there's not really any logical order to do them in, so let me start with this. This is the YSL, uh, La Tente Touche Clare, my bad A-level French there. Um, this is the foundation, so this is the foundation that's sort of the counterpart to the clicky under eye highlighter pen. Um, my shade is B20, I think that says which is, I don't think it's the lightest, I think it's the second lightest and the more neutral toned. The other, the equivalent shade was more yellow toned and I have more pink so we went with the more neutral toned. This is, of all the foundations I have ever used, the only one that for me has come close is the Dior Nude Skin. Is that what it's called, Dior Nude Skin? Hold on. Let me look. Yeah, hold on. The Dior Skin Nude, nearly, that one. Um, but this... I bought when I was away for a weekend visiting my friend Charlotte and her husband Jay, who is my cousin, uh, in June, I think it was, so it's been a couple of months, and every time I have worn makeup, I've, or every time I've worn foundation, which is not every time, and sometimes I might use kind of Bare Minerals mineral foundation, but if I've worn proper foundation, I have worn this. It's so nice. It's pump dispenser, which is always a bonus, but it's really light on the skin nice coverage, really great colour match and it's kind of brightening and it makes you look awake and it's just so lovely. I can't remember how much it was though and I think that might just be my brain playing the game of just block out how much you paid for it. I think it was probably about £30, it might have been slightly less than that but I know it was a, it's a high end product so I know that it was more expensive. In my opinion worth every penny every penny and I would absolutely buy it again in a heartbeat, no question. So it's, yeah, other than this Dior one, um, which is great, really nice foundation and you can see I've kind of used a lot of it but this is, yeah, this is the one right now, this is the one that I love at the moment. So um, would highly recommend it if you're in the market for a high-end foundation. Um, I would see if you can get a sample and give it a try because it's really lovely. Okay, next up, next up. Um, this is a really unusual product for me because until very recently I'd never really worn bronzer. I'm, as you can see, I am super pale. I don't tan. I go this colour and then I go red, or I stay this colour and then I go red and then I'm this colour again. Tanned, you know, bronze goddess kind of thing. It's just, it's not me. However, I've been using this bronzer which is the uh, Body Shop Bronzing Powder in the shade Fair Matte. And it's, you know, it's a bronzer. It's a really nice, really nice kind of light powder and it's kind of quite finely milled for for a bronzer. And I've swatched it on the back of my hand. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because it, it is fair. Like fair matte is the most appropriate way to name it. And I love it. I've been using it almost all over. Not quite, but kind of, you know, the places that the sun would catch. There's no shimmer in it, which is really nice. Um, and I bought this one last year. So I did try bronzer last year, and I've been using it, again, every time I've worn makeup I've used it, and the little, um, what's that word? Honeycomb? I guess it's, uh, yeah, that's right, honeycomb, beehive -y kind of honeycomb pattern is only just starting to come off. Um, so it's lasted really well. The little gold body shop thing is kind of rubbing off here, but it's, you know, it's nice packaging. It wasn't very expensive. It's about £13. They still have it. I think I'm going to buy a backup because I'm scared that they won't still have it, but I've, if this month in particular, it's been warmer here, which is unusual, um, but I've really enjoyed wearing that. 
Okay, next product. Uh, this is the this is the only hair product in my bag of goodies. This is the KMS California Ad Volume Volumizing Spray. And I like to try new hair products. As you can see, my hair is... There's nothing really remarkable about it. It's it's an okay colour at the moment. It's, uh, it's in reasonably good condition, considering that I have, you know, highlights put in it. It's okay, it's not particularly thick, it doesn't really hold a curl that well, and it's just, ugh, it just is. So I'm always kind of on the search for a product that's going to make it better. This is a really nice volumizing product. It's kind of a spray, it's a spray bottle, like a, you know, pump spray, um, rather than an aerosol spray. And it's a gel, and you just kind of spray it through, you know, uh, wet hair into the roots, blow dry it and it gives you just a really nice little kick of volume. I really like it. I, yeah, I don't have much more to say than that. It doesn't have an amazing smell, doesn't smell bad, but it's not like some of the TG products, you know, the bedhead products that smell like the best thing ever. It, it just, it's, you know, it's a good volumizing product. It's one of the best ones I've used, so I should probably be more excited about it than I am. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I think I originally got this, I had a little tiny baby one in a Glossy box, birch box, something like that. One of the one of the subscription boxes, and there was a little tiny sample of it. Well, not tiny, but you know, travel size of it. And I bought the full size because it was good. So that's that. Back to makeup. Uh, this is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara, and this is new. Um, I think Debenhams had it as an exclusive for a while, and I guess it's probably available everywhere now. And so it's. A black mascara and it has this kind of funky twisty I don't know if you can see that let me do that how's that oh no because that's gonna be in the way let's try that so it has this kind of twisty spirally brush and I really like it it gives you real I'm not wearing it so I'm actually not wearing other than the foundation I'm not wearing any of these favorites today um, which is poor show I probably should have worn them but this gives you really nice um, it's you know it's a volumizing mascara that's what it does so it really volumizes the lashes i have it in intense black i don't know if it comes in other shades because i picked this up on a uh it was a like an impulse buy while i was buying some other things at the bare minerals counter and there was a points offer on in debenhams and i needed to spend something else to get 500 points and so i went with this and it's really nice i really like it it's I think it's more of an evening mascara for me than a day mascara. I think it's a bit much for the day. I also found that it does smudge a little bit, but what I will say is I'm an eye rubber because my my job is kind of stressful. It's not the job, it's just some of the circumstances at work are stressful and I do this. This is my stress reaction. Is like, you know, heels of my hands into my eyes. And so what that means is that it smudges. So, for me to say that this smudges, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually that it's anything to do with the mascara as much as my kind of stressful job. So, I don't know, try it for yourself. They certainly have little mini testers, so if you're near a Bare Minerals counter or if you buy something else, it's worth asking if they'll throw one in because definitely worth a go. And the brush, like the brush is really cool. And if you're not someone who likes, I know a lot of people are really funny about mascara ones, I don't really care. It's always formulation really rather than wand that tends to bother me. I like a bigger one, but the little tiny ones are fine too. The only mascara ones I don't like, this is completely off on a tangent, the only ones I don't like, and there's only one mascara or two mascaras I ever remember having it, but they're the ones that have bristles that are short on one side and long on the other, or like longer on the other. The problem with that is I would always paint myself in the eye. Like I struggle enough with a, you know, an even sized wand, but the ones where something's shorter than the other, you could guarantee I would poke myself in the eye and that was just horrible. So, you know, it's a fun wand, it's a, you know, and it's a nice, you know, it's a really good volumizing product. Okay, next up, this is the Makeup Geek, uh, these are Makeup Geek eyeshadows and this is a Z palette. This is the, um, this is, uh, blah, I'm rambling, this uh, pattern, so the pattern on this palette, which is like a raspberry, swirly, damask kind of pattern it is an exclusive to Makeup Geek and it actually says on the back it's the Makeup Geek Z palette um so I bought this I ordered this the back end of July and it came in August so I'm going to call it an August favorite and I suddenly have a feeling like the beginning of this video I said it was my July favorites and if I did that I'm yeah I'm having a moment it's been a long day August favorite so this has been this arrived in August and I've been using the products this month so what I got was 
I have, I think it's 13, what is that, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 different shadows. And uh, it was kind of a set of nine and then four other ones that I picked up separately because I thought they were pretty. These eyeshadows are really good. Um, my personal favourites really for eyeshadows, I have a lot of Urban Decay because I've bought a lot of the palettes over time. And I love the Bare Minerals Ready uh, pressed eyeshadows because they're just so buttery and so pigmented and just lovely. However, these, for the money, are fantastic. They are really nicely pigmented, I'm going to see if I can swatch anything anywhere for you, um, really nicely pigmented, really um, really nice shades, and these are going to be massive like manhand swatches, I'm sorry. So I have, <laughs> I have three there and I can't even tell you what the shades are, but there's like this purpley one right here, a green one there which I know is apple teeny, I think this, um, this purpley one is either unicorn, hold on one second, let me get this eyeshadow out. The purpley one, oh my god, that I can't get out of the palette, is... Right, okay, so, purpley one here is Unicorn, this is Apple Teeny, and this shimmery one on the other side of that big swatch of bronzer is uh, Shimmer Shimmer. So these are, they're about $6 each, so that kind of translates to about, I guess about £4, which is not that expensive obviously if you're over here if you're in the UK and you're ordering from America you have to worry about shipping and customs and all that kind of thing so actually I don't think there was a huge amount of saving in you know in terms of buying it from there and having them shipped here or whatever I don't think it was like oh my god these were dirt cheap but for the money I think they're just I mean just look at that look at that shimmer shimmer how pretty is that they're just such excellent quality products so really pleased with those and I've been wearing those this month um, I also got one of the pigments, which I've lost. <laughs> Somewhere in this room around me is the pigment in New Year's Eve, which is beautiful, gold, champagne-y, sparkly, gorgeous, glitteriness. Um, but I haven't had cause to wear that yet because I don't often wear glitter because it goes everywhere and it drives me nuts. So I, yeah, I haven't, I haven't got that far, but I did get that as well and it's lovely. Um, but I'll certainly be back for another one of those C palettes because I love that pattern and I'm kind of tempted to just buy a bunch of those and just ditch all my MAC palettes and put everything in those but I'm not really sure whether that's just a massive waste of money so I don't know. Um, let me just... I should plan better. I'm le Every time I do a video I'm learning something new about how you have to do it because I should have a wipe out ready and you know ready to go to get stuff off my fingers but I didn't so next time I will do that. <sighs> right, okay, I have to breathe because I'm talking really fast, I'm sorry about that. Next favourite, this is just one of the products but there are, I have one, two, three, I have four products in this particular line. This is the Body Shop Vineyard Peach line and this is, oh my god, this smells like peaches. It's one of the first ranges I've smelled really of, of a peach product that smells like real peaches. It's not, like it's not that kind of sweet fake peach scent it's just yummy just so nice um it's limited edition so i have backup certainly of the shower gel because it's so yummy i've been using it this month a lot just because it's a, it's a summery scent and it's been warmer so i have really enjoyed using it i'm not so good with the uh with the body lotions i'm not a big body moisturizer because i just don't like the feeling of stuff on my skin like that but I have the shower gels, I have the hand and body lotion in the pump bottle, I have body butter, and I also have the, what is the other product? Oh, the body scrub, creamy body scrub, I have that too. And, it, and it's just so nice and so yummy, and I do think I am going to kind of stockpile stuff before it goes, because I'll be sad when it's gone. So, yeah, love that. And I'm not usually the biggest body shop fan, either. I'm not, yeah... It's, there's not a bunch of stuff there that I really like. I like that bronzer, this bronzer, um, and this peach stuff, but there's not a huge range of stuff that, that I've ever gone, oh my god, it's amazing. I don't really like the skincare and that kind of thing, but, but the peach, the peach I like. So, that brings me to my final product, which is, in this cute little box, this is uh, a Jo Malone fragrance, and this is my first Jo Malone fragrance, in fact. This is, and in this little box, is this little bottle. And this is the Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. And this is just a, a small one because, yeah, I wanted to just make sure I really liked it before I splurged on full size. I haven't ever had any Jo Malone fragrances before because every time I'd smelt them, I just, I couldn't find one I liked. 
And then about six weeks ago, I was at a birthday dinner with my friend and she got some of this exact scent as a gift. And so I smelled it there in the middle of the restaurant, as you do. Um, and that was it, fell in love, knew that, that I had to have it. And so I had some House of Fraser recognition points to use up. And so I used them up on this. And it was just, it was completely worth it. It's amazing. It's, if you don't like fruity sweet scents, you won't like it. But it's more sophisticated than most of the, you know, most of those real fruity scents. There's more to it, there's more depth to it. Um, while still being a really nice kind of light, fun, fruity, summery, it's really me. That's probably the best way I can describe it. Like, I feel like it's really me and I've been, I've been on a quest for a signature scent, which sounds really, really stuck up. But I've kind of wanted something that would just, you know, that I wear all the time because I have so many different fragrances kicking around and I like them, but there was never anything that I loved. And then this is, this has come along and this is the one that I love and... I am going to get full size, I need to get a little travel atomizer that I can put some of this so I can carry it with me and I know that there's other things in this scent so there's you know bath and body products as well that I'm going to get too but it's kind of pricey but I think it's it's pretty much worth every penny because it's such a gorgeous scent and I think it's part of a permanent line so I don't have to worry about it being, well don't necessarily have to worry about it being discontinued so yeah that's, so that's my scent of the moment anyway, God knows whether next month it will change so that's that. And I think that's everything. That is, yeah, that's my August favourites. Um, yeah, just, it's been kind of a crazy month. It's been really hot and so I haven't necessarily worn as much makeup or done as much with my hair other than put it up in a, you know, sock bun donut thing. Um, and so yeah, I haven't, like, like, I haven't worn a ton of, you know, crazy eye makeup or, you know, tons of lip colours and, and I don't, a lot of the summer special edition, limited edition stuff that's come out has kind of been a bit underwhelming. Like, there hasn't been a lot that's made me go, oh my god, I need it all. Like, I had a few bits from MAC Temperature Rising and a few bits from Tropical Taboo, I think. Yeah, I had some cream sheens from that. But generally speaking, I haven't been wowed. So I'm hoping that Christmas is going to be good this year because usually the Christmas collections are amazing and that's much more my time of year. I'm not really a summer girl, I'm a winter girl so I look forward to stuff kind of getting colder and us being close to Christmas. So yeah, so that was it. Thank you very much for watching. I am going to record a bunch of other videos uh, today, hopefully if the camera behaves and all of that. And so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!